Welcome back to Loose Tube. Today you'll learn how to swage straight shank fittings with a Locolock M2 swaging machine. This how-to video will demonstrate how to prepare and swage straight shank terminals. You should have already set up your M2 machine with the proper set of dies and the feed guide attached. The process is the same whether you are using the manual hand crank or the power drive. For swaging straight shanks, you will need a high quality cable cutter, a permanent marker, an attribute gauge, and your instruction manual. Begin by preparing the fitting. Cut the cable cleanly and squarely to ensure that it will fit into the bore of the terminal. The fit will be snug, so it is essential that the cable wires don't spread or broom out. Start by inserting the cable fully into the terminal and mark on the cable where it first appears at the end. This is referred to as point A in the manual. Place the cable beside the terminal aligning point A with the tip. Now mark on the fitting where the cable ends. This is point B. Now, place the cable next to point B, perpendicular to the fitting, and make another mark that is equal to the diameter of the cable. This is point C. Point C is important to find and remember because it is the point that you will align with the dies to begin your swage. Press the cable partly back into the bore and bend sharply. This will ensure that the fitting will remain in place on the cable while being inserted into the machine. Now, ensure that the upper and lower dies are centered. There should be a clear opening to lay your fitting and cable into. Insert the end of the fitting into the feed guide adapter and snap the cable into place. Be sure you can see your point C marking from earlier. If you begin the swage at any point above point C, you risk significant damage to your machine that may result in costly repairs. Inch the roll dies into place, aligning the points of the dies on point C. You may adjust your stopping screw at this point if you are completing many assemblies with the same cable and fitting. You can now begin the swage. If your unit is manual, the lever is like a large conventional ratchet wrench. Turn the handle to move the fitting through the dies. If you are using a powered unit, simply depress the foot pedal. Now, rotate the terminal within the feed guide 90 degrees from its original position and repeat this process. Rotate the terminal again, this time 45 degrees. Then turn the dies to meet at point C and make one final pass. Test the diameter of the shank opposite from the last pass with a loose attribute gauge to ensure that a proper swage was achieved. If it does not pass through the appropriate slot on the gauge, rotate 45 degrees from the last position and swage again. Never use more than four passes as it may cause work hardening. If it passes through the slot on the gauge, your swaged fitting will maintain the brake strength of the cable. Thank you for watching Loose Tube. Be sure to subscribe below for updated content and click the links for the next videos in the series.